Hey everyone, this is Kurt with BlueRocksHack.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to migrate an existing WordPress website to SiteGround Hosting. This video will be useful to you if you have an existing host and would like to move your website to SiteGround or if you just purchased a website and would like to add it to your existing SiteGround hosting account. Now, if you don't already have SiteGround, I would suggest that you use my link below to get a special offer. And the link is siteground.com slash go slash blue rucksack. Now, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get started, we will log into our cPanel of our existing website. And in the cPanel, we will scroll down to File Manager, click on File Manager, and scroll to the website that you would like to transfer. In this case, it is huckleberriesmoonshine.com. Go ahead and click on huckleberriesmoonshine.com, select a file, and then select all files and now you will want to compress these files into one zip archive click on zip archive scroll down and you'll see an area to enter a name for your zip file we will want to make this unique so we can find it so I'll go ahead and put huckleberries on compress files Close. and then you can see here that the zip file huckleberries.zip has been created so go ahead and click on that file and also click on your wpconfig.php file and then click on download. You can see here they're downloading. And if we open up the file where these uh, files are downloaded to, you can see here the Huckleberry zip file and the WP config file. Now, the next step is to download the database for the website. So we can go back to our cPanel and in the cPanel scroll down to PHP My Admin and here we'll be able to see the databases that are connected to our hosting account. So this is my cPanel login. So if we click that we'll see two databases. So to figure out which database is related to our website and you know in, depending on your case there could be 10, 15 or 20. So in this case I only have two, but to figure out which one is related to this website in particular, we'll open up our WP config file. So I already have it open here and this is what it looks like. We'll scroll down to the database name and for this particular website for Huckleberries it's WP744. So keep that in mind and I'll come back to PHP My Admin and I'll find the WP744 and I'll go ahead and open that database and you'll see uh, multiple tables that are related to this website. So we want to go ahead and select check all and export these tables. Select custom. Make sure that all of the tables are selected and scroll down to object creation options and select add drop table. And scroll down to the bottom and select go. And as you can see, now we are downloading our database. 
So now that we have downloaded our WordPress website files and our WordPress website database, we can move on over to our SiteGround hosting account and add our domain name that we would like to use. And in this case, again, it is huckleberriesmoonshine.com. And I will go ahead and go to my SiteGround account, click on My Accounts, and go to my cPanel. Now, if you're using any other host, uh, these steps will be very similar uh, logging into the cPanel. Once you're in your cPanel, click on Add On Domains and add your domain. a password and add the domain if you scroll down you will be able to see your domain has been created so huckleberries moonshine so now we want to add our website files to that domain. So we'll return to our cPanel, scroll down to your file manager, and make sure that you are in correct file folder. Here I have Huckleberry's Moonshine and you can see that this file is practically empty. So we want to upload our zip file. And here you can see Huckleberry's zip folder. Select open. So you can see that the file upload is complete. We will return to our file manager. You can see that it shows up. Then we want to click on extract. And again, make sure that your file path is correct. Huckleberriesmoonshine.com. Extract the files. And then click reload. And here you can see all of our website files. Now that we have successfully uploaded our website files to our SiteGround hosting account, we will go ahead and create a new database and upload our uh, website's database files that we downloaded previously. To create a new database, we will go back to our SiteGround hosting account cPanel and we'll scroll down to my SQL databases and on this page we'll create a new database and you can call this just about anything you'd like I'm going to make it easy just for the purpose of this tutorial so one two three four five create database I want to go ahead and copy this name down name of the database. We will need that in the feed. And paste the name there. Back to our cPanel. Once that database has been created, you'll be able to see it here, we'll have to create a username. Again, to make this easy, suggest using the password generator just to have a really strong password for your database. Go ahead and create one and go ahead and select copy. You will also want to document this password for future use. Select I have copied password in a secure location. Use password and create the user. Again, 
back on this page. We will now add a user to the database. So you can see here I have my username, the HB12345, and the database that I created, 12345. And what I'm going to be doing is adding this user to this database so I can access it and edit it. So go ahead and select Add. Select All Priv Privileges and make changes. And now you can see your user. You also want to select your username. Select Copy. Go ahead and document that in your file as well. The next step will be to upload your database that you downloaded from your website to your new database. To do that, go to your cPanel, scroll down and find PHP My Admin. And in here, you'll see your database that you created. In my case, it's 12345. Go ahead and select that database, and you'll see that it is empty. You'll want to go ahead and select Import, choose File, and select the database that you downloaded. It's the SQL file. Click Open scroll down and click go and it should just take a couple of seconds and now you can see that it is successfully uploaded go ahead and click on that file again you can see all of these options or all of these tables that were created the next step will be to change the username and password of the WP config file and that will be so you can log in and gain access to your website. So to do that go back to your cPanel on your SiteGround hosting account and scroll down to the file manager. In the file manager again Make sure that you are in the correct path, in this case, huckleberriesmoonshine.com. And you will scroll down to the WP config file. Go ahead and select the edit. And if you remember before, when you open this up, you're looking for a database name. So this is the old database name, uh, database user, and database password. So we want to update these with our new uh, information. So go back to your spreadsheet or file where you saved your username, password, select your database name, Paste, database name, take your password, copy, paste. Pay special attention to make sure that you do not delete anything outside and that you enter these correctly. And let's see, last we need our database username. saved so we can click 
close that file. And now we have completed the upload of all files and name changing that was required. The final step in moving your WordPress site to SiteGround Hosting is to change the domain name servers to point to your new SiteGround Hosting. Uh, to do this, you will go to your existing domain registrar. Um, in my case, I'm with GoDaddy. I will log in and I'll find my domain. Click on Manage. And I'll click on Manage DNS. Scroll down to Name Servers and you'll want to click on Change. Next, you will go to your SiteGround cPanel account. And up top here in the corner, you'll see your name servers. These name servers point to your SiteGround hosting account, to your cPanel. So you'll want to go ahead, copy NS1 SiteGround. And you'll want to paste it here where it says DNS1. back to your SiteGround hosting, or to your cPanel, and underneath number one you'll see number two. Go ahead and copy that one, paste that in there, go ahead and click save, and that is all you will need to do. Now it may take a little bit of time for your name servers to update. Um, but within a few hours, uh, you should be ready to log into your website, um, and that should complete the process of transferring your existing website to SiteGround Hosting. If you have any questions or need any help, go ahead and leave a comment in this comment section below, and I'll be happy to help you. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.